Hi, friends. My name is Rhonda Slater. I'm founder of Pierced by Love that was created to bring people into deeper intimacy with Jesus. I have a prophetic word for much of you in the body of Christ this morning. Uh, I'm very privileged to share what I believe the Lord is saying to encourage you. The verse in John 3.30 came to me this morning, and it says, He must increase, but I must decrease. Now, this was said by John the Baptist, who was leading people into repentance, and he was looking to Jesus to carry on um, this ministry. And I don't want to get into all of that. because That's not the point, but that's just context for the verse that came to me. And I also want to lay a little foundation for us decreasing. I've heard a lot of theologies around this verse. And what I don't believe God is trying to decrease is who he created us to be. What I do believe he is trying to decrease is uh, some of the coping mechanisms, some of the places where we have open doors to the enemy who's um, accessing our journey, who's influencing our walk with the Lord. And the Lord wants to decrease those. You might hear it called die to self. I believe that's that's uh, where the flesh dies is when we die to the things that give us comfort in the way that brings us away from the places that what God wants us to be. So that's the foundation for us decreasing. And this came into my, my spirit, I believe this morning. And I wanted to share because I believe that there are many of you who feel stuck who feel like you have no place to go, that your breakthrough is not coming. And I just want to remind you about Jesus going on the cross and taking his last breath. And this is what he said. He said, I'll read Luke 23, 46. This is what Jesus said. He said, Father, into your hands, I commit my spirit. So he put everything he had into the father's hands. He had done everything the father had asked him to do in John 17. This is what he says in verse four. I glorified you on the earth by accomplishing the work, which you gave me to do. Beloved, I believe you may be in a place where you feel like you've done everything that God has asked you to do. And you're still not seeing breakthrough. I believe you need to commit that thing into his hands and that you need to walk out in faith. You know, let me read the rest of this verse in Luke. I'll start with 46 again. Then Jesus calling out with a loud voice said, Father, into your hands, I commit my spirit. And having this Having said this, he breathed his last. Now when the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God, saying, certainly this man was innocent. And all the crowds that had assembled for this spectacle, when they saw what had taken place, returned home, beating their breasts. And all his acquaintances and the women who had followed him from Galilee stood at a distance watching these things. He had a centurion that was playing for the other team, so to speak, right? He was part of the Roman army. He had crowds that just came to see what was going on. And then he had his friends and all of them witnessed his walk with the father in that moment. In his hardest moment, they all witnessed that. Beloved, I believe that there are people that are watching you, whether you know it or not, that are being encouraged by your journey that even before your breakthrough, you're putting all of these things into the Lord's hands and you're allowing your faith to build that God is good and that he's faithful and that the things that you're looking for are going to come forth, that he is working, that he is putting all things together. So I want to encourage you that the things that you feel are dead today are coming alive as Jesus lay breathless, lifeless in that cave, in that tomb. There was nothing he could do. He had done it all already. He laid there waiting on the father. There was no prayer he could pray. There was nothing he could declare. There was no step of faith he could take that that breath would come. He just had to wait on the father. 
So I pray in this season of waiting that you would just lean into the Father, that you would just let your faith grow and that you would know that breath is going to come and you're going to walk out of that confined place into freedom, into breakthrough in Jesus name.